Welcome to Podman Pipecast, the premiere Pipeband Podcast. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. It's been a while since we've been in the studio, so I'm a- Yeah. Some people probably didn't even notice, but you know, if you look at the thumbnail, and if you're cool enough to be on our Patreon, patreon.com slash podbandpipecast, you would know we're back in our studio. Yes. They were closed for COVID, but they're yeah. open again. Yes. Open for business. Yep. Podband Pipecast business. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Speaking of closed for business and open for business and being a business or not, um, who else has been closed for business for eight months? I'm trying to make this segue interesting, and I, feel I like don't think it's not segueing. I don't know where you, <laughs> I don't I'm, know where it's going. I'm trying. Um, uh, speaking of oh, uh, speaking of being closed for business, you know, how do you how does one open for business? <laughs> I mean, what does it even mean to open for business? Yes. Do you want to open for business? Are you motivated mm-hmm. to open for business? There we go. There we go. Now we have segue. Um, yeah. So are you okay? Are you motivated to open for business to play your pipes and drums ever again? But not like as a business, just you know, just, just in you can playing, com- competing, and you know. Because I know, like, some people have been super motivated over this pandemic. I mean, honestly, I have not. Same. Like, like I know, I know. I know that there's a thing about like, oh, we have so much time now. You can get good at so many things. You have so much time to practice. But like, the world has been ending. (laughs) It's kind of a big deal. Might as well go down playing. I guess. I guess. Have you you picked up any hobbies over the the break? (sighs) Not really. What have I been doing? It's like when someone asks you what you do for fun and you instantly think of everything. Like you forget everything you've ever done. That's fun. Yeah. I don't know. Have you picked up any hobbies? I I started crocheting, but I'm one of those people that if I don't do it perfectly the first time I try, I I stop. Same. I made a whale and then I stopped. That's good though. Yeah. Perfect little little whale. whale. Yeah. I ruined it by trying to put eyes on it. (laughs) It's a mess. And now you're done. Never crochet again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I've done something. What have What have we done over the pandemic? I'm asking one of our producers. Oh yeah, playing lots of video games. That's important. Because they <laughs> they used to say like, oh, video don't play too many video games. It's not good for you. Now they're like, stay inside, play video games. That's it. It's all you can do. Remember at the start of the pandemic when uh, switches were just a hot commodity yeah they were like selling for like a grand on ebay yeah because there's a lot of people that are like oh i should guess i should be playing video games i need to buy a game what am i gonna do at home yeah i mean not i'm not trying to be like a hipster but like i was gaming before it was cool i mean anyway (laughs) that was a long transition to say you may not have been playing as much as you should have and we're here to give you some help to play yeah. as much as you should have do to do something because like i think i think you're thinking about the the crocheting the whale is a very good example of one time i saw this quote you know internet quotes and no one actually knows who said them first probably no one um <laughs> but this quote i saw was don't let perfect be the enemy of the good don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good something like that I get where you're going you with that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like, I'm like I'm a perfectionist too, and like if I try something it doesn't work out, I'm like, well, psh, might as well not even do it. Never gonna touch it again. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, playing not at all for like a, a three months is like not good. But if you play for ten minutes, like once a month, that's better than like it's better than nothing. Nothing. Yeah. And that's kind of what I've been thinking, you know, Mm -hmm. because sometimes you're like, oh, but, you know, pandemic, video games, I can't, I can't play, whatever, right? Like, you kind of just need to do it, right? Just, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. In, in the words of a wise man. In fact, let's play, let's play a clip of that wise man right now. Do it! Just do it! 
Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. Some people dream of success while you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit, and you're not going to stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! If you're tired of starting over, stop giving up. Okay, that was uh, the wise Shia LaBeouf. Yes. From um, uh, Cars. No. Transformers. Yeah, that's the one. Cars. <laughs> Yeah, just just do, just do it. it. That was that was very motivational. I can't believe I never actually like watched that video. I can't believe you never seen that. I like, I I've, I've seen bits and people making fun of it, but I've never actually seen it. It's funny because that video came out like five years ago, and I went to that video. I looked for that video and I found it, and I was looking at the YouTube comments and people were like, "Man, this helps in 2020." <laughs> like <laughs> we thought this was a joke in 2015 or whenever it came out. Still relevant. It's still relevant. Aged very well. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah, just do it. So, yeah, um you know, I'm not the best at tough love. I'll tell you that. But you know who is good at tough love? Adela. Yes. Tell us what we need to hear. Uh, motivation is a lie and Discipline is real. Uh, I saw another good quote. Uh, the proper question is, how do I make my feelings inconsequential and do the things I consciously want to do without being a little bitch about it? Oh. Like, motivation ain't real. You just gotta do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see this if you're listening to it, but there's a hand gesture. Look it up on YouTube. There's a hand gesture that goes along <laughs> with that. Just do it. Oh, actually, I probably should have read the whole... Okay, hold on. There's a a Reddit forum that's uh, like something. I think it's just our discipline, um, and it's very good about talking about like just just doing it. It's um, good for this stuff sometimes. Yeah. So there's this this quote that I took a screenshot of, and it says, "At its core, chasing motivation is insistence on the infantile fantasy that we should only be doing things we feel like doing. The problem is then framed thus: How do I get myself to feel like doing what I have rationally decided to do?" The proper question is, how do I make my feelings inconsequential and do the things I constantly, I consciously want to do without being a little bitch about it? Uh, the point is to cut the link between feelings and actions and do it anyway. You get a feel good, you get to feel good and buzz and energetic and eager afterwards. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it and do that hand gesture too. Yeah. Need motivation? Do it. Do it. Do it. That is a good point. I wonder if this is um I wonder if this is copyrighted. I don't trademarked the phrase. Sponsored I wish it was sponsored by Nike. Give me some Nikes. Come on, producers. Get on it. Get some Nikes up here. He's got Nikes. I heard a British person call them Nikes one time and I was like, is that are they mispronouncing it or is that how Is that you, legal? Is that how you actually say it in Britain? I don't know. <sighs> Someone needs to tell us how you... you Somebody tell me how you say Nikes across I mean, the pond. In the good old US of A where they were invented. Call them Nikes. Yes. But, you know, whatever. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. So uh, the other thing that like... So I know y your point was basically you don't try to make yourself want to do something. Just do it. Right? Just pick... a. Towards okay, so towards the beginning of not the beginning of the pandemic, but like maybe a month or two into it, um, I was tell like I was talking with people from our band about like what can we do to like be motivated and like keep practicing and keep playing, and one of the things I said was like, oh, we have a members only Facebook group, and I'm like, just whenever you're practicing, just do a Facebook live to the members only group and be like, hey guys, I'm practicing. You want to practice with me right now? Sure, or not. Come back and listen, watch this video later. Yeah. And I was like, oh, just... So I did it, 
And I was intended to only practice for like 10 minutes or whatever, but it ended up being like, I don't know, half hour or something. But I was like, hey, I'm just going to do a Facebook Live because I'm just going to play some mass band stuff. Here we go. And that was literally it. And everyone's like, whoa, you're practicing? Like, what? Like, it shouldn't be revolutionary. But like, I think that's what a lot of people are finding right now is that even if you are practicing by yourself, it's hard to like get other people to practice or to like, and then you're, you don't say anything about it. So everyone's just like, well, I guess no one's doing anything. <laughs> yeah. No one's doing it. So why should I do it? Yeah. So why should I do it? So like, I don't know if you want to do a Facebook live every time you practice, but do something. Do it. Hold yourself accountable. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's okay if it's not like perfect because every note, or, like the other thing is, when you do some kind of video like that and you're like watching yourself play something, I was messing up the mass bands three fours. I'm not kidding. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a different skill entirely. People who make videos of things, which I've had to do a few times of like videos of our new sets or whatever. And it's like, man, you turn on a camera and it's like you just mess up all over the place. So it's, it's an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Practice for 10 minutes. Take a video of yourself practicing share it with people that you like or I don't know whatever just do it just do it yeah. and we keep, we keep saying that and like what does it really mean to just do it it means do it do it do like, it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what more to tell you like you're sitting there like yeah but like COVID like I'm a piper I can't like dude just either play your pipes in your abode where you are or like find a park where there's no one around just freaking go out there and just roll your butt out of bed and do it <laughs> do it you can do something spend your 20 minutes tuning and your 10 minutes playing green hills and then you're done and do that like once or twice a week and you're yeah. good does 20 minutes of tuning sound overwhelming then just grab your chanter yeah and do that i mean okay also this is horrible, I and mean, you're going to record me saying this, this is awful, but it's going to be played back, I know, whatever. If 20 minutes of tuning sounds overwhelming to you, just don't tune, and just play your just, pipes. Mm. Just do it. Like, if that's the difference between, if, like, that's your obstacle to why you're not playing ever, like, deal with that later like your step one is to play for the first time since the pandemic started how many months like, is that how many it's like i don't even know what month are we in can we get a fact check on this <laughs> <laughs> eight eight months eight, are you guess? just holding up fingers and <laughs> march yeah march for us i guess it depends where you are but yeah yeah, eight months. Eight All right, months. we've confirmed that's probably about eight months. So, look, if you haven't played your pipes or drums in eight months, and tuning is your obstacle playing. Like, just, just don't tune. Don't tune. I can't believe I'm saying that because it's going to sound bad. But you know what? Step one, you play. <laughs> Step two, you figure out what's going on with that. Tune it next time or the time after that. As long as you you've got them up, you've got yeah. air in them. That's progress. You can't remember your medley that you played every day for the past three years because you haven't played it in eight months. So like, just play Green Hills. I can't believe I'm saying that either. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Just do something. Something is better than nothing. Like I said, 10 minutes of Green Hills, better than no minutes. No minutes of nothing. Of nothing. Unless you're really that bad. Like... <laughs> Unless you are maybe really don't do it. put them away can't pack it up <laughs> but i think there's very few people who should be like oh maybe i shouldn't ever pick up my instrument again <laughs> very few people does that apply to <laughs> yeah let's have some more tough love i like it let's oh keep going. okay uh there was another quote that um i read that uh a couple of quotes there's this one um when you when you do it, make sure to acknowledge any progress, like we were saying. Like ten minutes is ten minutes. Um, so there's no progress that's too small. And along with that, you did one day good, you do another day bad. Acknowledge that you failed and didn't play. And then just do it again tomorrow. Yeah. But don't let yourself spiral. 
don't like, oh, I didn't play yesterday. What's the point of playing today? Or just do it. Just do it. Yeah. And like you said, if, you know, maybe one day you take out your, your, your instrument for 10 minutes. Maybe the next day you just got your sticks and pad or your chanter or your just your mallets on a table, whatever. Yeah. Or just just do it. Do do something. Uh, it's important to keep in mind that the human brain works like a treadmill. Yeah, it might want to change because you're not satisfied with how you are now, but you might then get used to your new baseline and feel the uh, feel the need to accomplish more to reach happiness and satisfaction. So as you do it, you start to build more discipline and habits. And then that's how you get better. So your 10 minutes turns into... So your 10 minutes, like, once a month turns into 10 minutes once a week. Turns into, like, 10 10 minutes minutes a day. day. Yeah. Or whatever. And then those 10 minutes get easier. And then it's 20 minutes. Yeah. And it's 30. I've had that experience of, like, you... You put away an instrument for, like, a year or two. Because, like, I used to actively play cello a lot. And then I didn't play it for, like, a year or two. And then you get it back out and it's like, um, I don't have my calluses I used to have. This is literally physically painful (laughs) to play right now. Um, It sucks, but you do 10 minutes a day and then you or, you know, two hours a week. I don't know. I don't know what your I don't know what your baseline is, like we said, but do something and then it gets better. And then you don't suck. Some some more difference between uh, motivation and discipline. Uh, Motivation, broadly speaking, operates on the erroneous assumption that a particular mental or emotional state is necessary to complete a a task. But discipline is, um, by contrast, separate outward functioning from moods and feelings and thereby ironically circumvents the problem by consistency, by consistently improving them. So, like, don't wait till you feel like doing something. Do it, no matter your feelings. Yeah. I think one thing also that one thing also that our band uh, has experienced a lot is because we have so I'm not picking on anyone. I'm sorry, but we have a lot of older people in our band and um, some of them have actually said like, look, some days like it doesn't it kind of doesn't feel good to play. And they're, you know, like, if I don't play, I will physically be unable to play in, like, another eight months or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, like, I think think that, too, like, it's easy when you're, like, young and healthy like us to be like, oh, I just don't feel like doing that today, but, like, I'll do it tomorrow. But then you start thinking, like, what if if I can't do it tomorrow? Like, just need, I know it's a dark thought, it's like spooky, but like physically do it and like then you'll feel better physically because obviously it's like exercise. Like you get stronger as mm-hmm. you do it. Mm-hmm. You just don't wait for your mental side to be there. Treat it like working out yeah. or don't because I hate working out. <laughs> That's where discipline comes in. Doesn't matter what exactly. your feelings are. Doesn't matter. I don't. My feelings don't matter. That's what I'm learning. Today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's okay. Your feelings don't matter. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh. <laughs> Why you do this? I think it was something along the lines of you can't hate yourself into being someone you like. Mm. So like, oh, I don't remember how I was going to tie that in. So like, if you're mad at yourself for not doing something, for not doing it, um, that's not going to help you. Yeah. Like, just, just do it. Just get, just don't, just put, your feelings don't matter. Once again. So being mad at yourself doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Yeah. You just do it. You can't hate yourself into doing it. You just you just got to do it. You just stop hating it. yourself and do it. Yeah. Hey, yes. hey, by the way, since we're saying this a lot, all of our Patreon subscribers are, uh, you've probably noticed by now that there's a counter on the screen for how many times we've said, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. That's three more for the counter. Yeah. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> <laughs> this some this been some tough love, but what tough love. what's oh. your not tough love? Okay. So Adela's tough love, Kaylee's not so tough love. <laughs> <laughs> um okay, so if all you have to practice right now is mass bands, four fours and two fours and three fours, that's totally cool. Like ten minutes a day, like we said, just or ten minutes ever if you haven't done literally anything. Um, I think a lot of the the times 
when like it's really interesting having being in a competition focused band and then also um teaching like i taught a lot of the uh fire and police service bands who are not competition focused and some of them don't aren't are not even aware that competition for pipe bands is a thing which is really interesting um so their goal when they join a fire or police service band is usually like to just be able to play. And a lot of them is because, you know, like if you've watched uh, or if you've listened to our episode with the Arizona fire service pipe band members, um, they got into this to honor and to um, play at some really important events and competition is far from their minds. They're doing this. They're doing it. Do it. Just do it (laughs) to get better and to be better at what they do. And in a competition focused band, I think it's like we're very extrinsically motivated a lot of times where it's like, well, I'm going to practice this because I want to get first place or like I'm going to like work on this new medley because I want to, you know, see those good comments on the score sheets. And like if that's your motivation, obviously you've had no motivation lately Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) and you don't know when you're going to have that motivation again. And, like, you maybe even, like, we're trying to work on a new medley. Maybe that's been hard for you if you're trying to do that because you're like, what am I going to do with this? Is it going to win me any prizes next year? Well, I don't know. But, like, to some extent, you have to think about all the people who are, like, just take take a page out of the book of all the people who are in the um, service bands who were just, just doing just it. Just do it to get better and they're they're intrinsically motivated because they want to play and i'm not saying everyone is like that obviously and there's a lot of very intrinsically motivated people in competition bands too but that's another thing i've noticed that like the mostly the people who are just doing it during this are like very motivated by like improving themselves and people who are not are just like well i'll pick it back up when i know when my next contest will be and, like, you can do that, but also don't. Just, I forget how I was going to tie that up. <laughs> just do it. If this is important to you, if band is important to you, just do it. Don't be sitting there like, do I, I don't know, I guess I won't practice today. I guess I'll wait another week or two. Like, just do it. Just do it. It's part of your life. Make that's yourself why, better. That's why motivation isn't good because motivation is temporary, whereas discipline should be forever if you just do it. Exactly. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> to turn off this episode, pick up your instrument and just do it. But I mean, don't don't do that yet. Yeah, it's no. like we're not done. Just wait. I mean, you could. You could. You could take a break for pause. Pause yeah. the episode. Pa- pause back. it. You done? All right. All right. Now come back. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a really good session. I mean, I'm yeah. glad you took the time good to job. do that. If you didn't, this, this that clapping wasn't for you. Oh yeah, you just just do, pause it, pause it, go. <laughs> we'll wait. <laughs> I see. I don't see you moving. No. There you go. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Good job. Yeah. You know what you can do. So another one of my like things about like just make yourself better. Um, if you're a midsection person, like, look up some random medley or MSR on YouTube and just, like, jam with it for a bit. Because, like, it's hard for us. I know it's, like, pipers can just be like, oh, I'll just learn a new tune, whatever. And snares, even same thing. It's like, oh, hey, I, you know, I got these drum scores. I'm going to learn them. And sometimes it's hard as a tenor bass to, like, learn new drum scores if you're not, your band isn't playing it feels weird to me just go find something and just jam on it doesn't matter who's playing doesn't matter what tune it is doesn't matter what grade level it is just try to try to jam get get those arms in the air like you just don't care yeah. <laughs> that's a song right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> i'm sorry i don't don't judge me please <laughs> i'm not cool <laughs> uh, yeah the, the, there was a thing talking about how to, to help get yourself motivated and disciplined. And one thing you've got to do is, is set goals. So mm-hmm. 
set small goals at first, like we were saying, 10 minutes a month, 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes a week. That, that was back, you know, goals. Goals. And if you don't reach those goals, acknowledge that, accept that you failed to reach your goals, and reevaluate and set new realistic goals. 10 minutes a day was too hard. Uh, 10 minutes every other day. That was too hard. 10 minutes a week. That's too hard. Uh, fucking get over it. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes right now. We'll wait. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, we'll wait again. Yeah. Come on. Did did you do it? All right. Okay. Good job. Good job. Proud of you. <laughs> Unless you didn't do it, in which case. We're not proud of you. Yeah. We're disappointed. I don't know. I don't know what else to say to like, just, just do it. Like pick something. And do it. Literally anything to do with your instrument. And just play. Just do it. Just do it. You know what? Remix. Make a remix of Scotland the Brave. I don't care. I'll I'll listen to it. It might be bad, but like we're not gonna tell you that. No, you did something. That if you did it. Yep. Progress. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Oh, that would be terrible. And remix of Scotland the Brave. Don't send it to us. We're, we're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll play it on our next episode. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. You'll have to do it. Speaking of, it's coming up to our one year anniversary or oh. one year birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday Happy to birthday. us. Birthday. Birthday to us. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. This this was really hard to just do it. Yeah. We we um we have a Google Doc of all of our episode ideas and questions and topics for them, and this one stayed empty. <laughs> We're like motivation, <laughs> and that's it. That's it. <laughs> It's freestyling. <laughs> and you know what? It's, you just got to like. We, we just it, did it. We just did it. It's it's really, it's been really good throughout the whole pandemic. Like when we started this, we didn't really know what it was going to be. And then for after like a year through a pandemic and through literally the world ending and people <laughs> stopping piping and drumming, uh, it's been really good to like talk about pipes and drums for like a half hour every week or how we film it it's really like an hour every two weeks or whatever but but you know what i mean yeah just pick something and be like we're gonna talk about pipes and drums for half an hour every week and do it for a year i mean that's what we did you can do whatever you want but yeah you mean you don't have to do this you, no. you need to practice yeah you can you could make a podcast of yourself playing green hills 10 minutes a day for a year, if you wanted to. I mean, please don't. Or right, you know, do it. Live the dream. Do it. In a year, ten minutes a day, man, that's gonna be that's gonna be a fire mix right there. That's gonna be a real fire, Green Hills. <laughs> I would listen to that. Not all of it. <laughs> like a, a skip through it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Even if it's you know, like I said, even if it's not great. Sometimes we have ideas for episodes. We're like, is this gonna work? And you know what? We just do it. We just do it. And you listen to them. Maybe you don't. You should. You know what? It, and and uh, so you've done it. You've done 10 minutes a day for a whole week. Come back, listen to this episode again, and celebrate by doing a shot every time we say, just do it. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe no. <laughs> it's party time. Uh, we're not responsible for anything that may result <laughs> from that. Um, but you know what? Yeah. Drinking game. Maybe you deserve it. I don't know. Did yeah. you do it? Did you? Tell us. Tell us. Just do it. Just do it. And then tell us. Do something. We'll give you a virtual pat on the back. Yeah. For doing it. Do we have any other tips other than do it? <sighs> Just do it. Just do it. Oh, one thing I was going to say. I kind of already said it, but you know what? I can say, you know, it's more motivation. It. Say Just, it again. I'm just going to do it. Uh practice versus play if practice you know what i mean by that like if practicing is hard for you practicing being like i'm going to sit here and repeat this one measure because i can't get it right and that sucks like you do have to do it you mm -hmm. you, you gotta it. just do it um but once again if that's your obstacle to playing literally at all don't practice just play just you know what i'm just gonna play and then just do it. And if you mess up, that's fine. And you, you know you need to practice. But like we said, you got to set goals. And your goal 
Don't get sidetracked by other goals. Stick to your goal of playing 10 minutes a day or whatever your goal is. And then maybe be like, all right, I'm going to play 10 minutes a day and then I'm going to spend five minutes trying to work on one measure or whatever. That's a good goal too. Like play. Just do it. Just play. Play and then go back and practice. Yeah. Playing is progress. And then you go back and practice. And then next time you play, it's not an obstacle anymore. You've solved your... What's stopping you from solving that problem? Nothing. Yourself. Do it. Do it. Do it. Motivation is a lie. Do it. Discipline. Just do it. Just do it. You have any other advice? Uh, Do it. That... uh, Yeah. You know what? You know what people should also do. Oh, tell me. Just do it. Just do it. Oh, you know. You know what else they should do? Yeah. Uh, follow us on. Uh, subscribe to us on uh, Patreon. Oh yeah, just do it. Just do it. For the low, low price of five dollars a month plus tax. Plus tax. Plus tax. Um, and tune in next week. Do it because. Well, okay, so this week, I guess we should acknowledge Thanksgiving, huh? Oh yeah, Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You can take a break on Thanksgiving. Can you? No. Do it. Do it. Like, it's not really going to be family gatherings anyway. Just like. That's true. Stay home. Anyway. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Uh, Be on your Zoom call with your family and friends and be like practicing. And they'd be like, please stop. (laughs) That's what the mute button's for. (laughs) Trying to eat dinner. But you know what? It's better than talking about politics over the family dinner table. Amen. Just do it. Just do it. Not politics. Practice. Practice. Yes, practice. No politics. Yeah. Um. So that's Thanksgiving. Yay. Happy. Done. Just did it. It's done. Um. Then we're going to have our one year birthday episode. Our extra special birthday extravaganza yeah. episode. And it's going to be super cool because um, we decided to do a game show. Yeah. And it's going to be fun, and I'm not going to tell you anything else about it, except that you have to watch and brush up on your pipe band trivia and your podcast trivia. Yes. Go back and listen to all of our episodes. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. Do it. And then maybe you can see how you would fare against our super fans. Yes. Because they, they're they they're going to go for it. They're going to do it. They do it. Some they of did them it. do it better than others, but... You know, they still did it. it. Everybody did it. Yeah. And then I think we should end this episode with a bagpipe remix of that song by the Black Eyed Peas. It's like, and do it, and do it, and do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> and if you can't do that because of, uh, I'm talking to Alex right now, but, you know, if he can't do this, he's not going to edit this out. So if you can't do that, then just keep in that clip of me. Uh, <laughs> do I almost don't want him to do it because the, that's <laughs> even better. <laughs> just do it. Or don't, because, you know, you don't want to pay royalties on this stuff. <laughs> I don't make that much money from our Patreon. Come on. But we could. If you subscribe. If you subscribe. We need things. So subscribe. Yeah. Just do it. And do it. And do it. 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 Is that how it goes? I don't know. I feel like that's part of a Black Eyed Peas song. It, it is. Is it? Yeah. I've got a feeling or whatever. I have a feeling. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm not cool. But <laughs> anyway. That's it for now. Thanks for listening and go practice. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Do Just it. do it and do it. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening, everyone. If you enjoyed this show, then support us on Patreon for exclusive content as well as the video of us recording this. We'll have special exercises we'll be writing as well as tips and tricks with tenor drumming and other instruments to come. Um, subscribe to us on YouTube for some tenor tutorials and possibly other tutorials later on. Um, and like us on Facebook at Podband Podcast.